A Story of Edwin Barnes Over a hundred years ago, a young man named Edwin Barnes, from the Midwest had a dream to become a partner of the greatest inventor on earth, Thomas A. Edison. Barnes made up his mind that he would continuously pursue his goal of becoming a business associate of the famous inventor until he met success. His desire were so strong to form this partnership. There would be no turning back, and nothing was going to stop him from reaching his goal, Barnes vowed to himself. But he had no money, he had little education, he had no influence, he had no relationship with Edison. However, the desire of Edwin Barnes was so strong, and he needed to find a way to make it come true. So he used his brain, and boarded a freight train to meet Edison. He arrived in Orange, New Jersey, and managed to make his point to meet with Edison. Poorly dressed and looking more like an outcast than a man of achievement, Barnes walked into the famous Edison laboratory, and told the great inventor that. I had come to form a partnership with you. Edison staff members were amazed by the courage of the poor-looking man, and they laughed at him. But, Edison did not laugh. Because, what he saw was a determined young man, who was ready to do anything to help his company drive new growth. Edison decided to give the poor man a chance of realizing his dream, not as a partner, but rather as a floor sweeper. Barnes wisely accepted Edison's offer, unconcerned about the job his mentor had planned for him. Barnes understood that he had been given the opportunity of a lifetime to show Edison what he could do for him. And he knew that accepting the inventor's humble offer would open the door for him to see how a genius thought. Barnes also understood that Thomas Edison was providing him with a tremendous opportunity to meet his friends and colleagues, some of the most influential and most powerful people in the world. Starting with a broom in his hands, Barnes did the best work he possibly could for Edison, and he never once backed down from his goal of establishing a partnership with Edison. Months passed and still, his goal went unrealized. After working for Edison, for nearly two years, Barnes saw a golden opportunity, and he seized it with full force. After several years of preparation, inventor Edison was ready to commercialize the dictating machine, a recorder designed specifically to capture the human voice. Edison's machine, later renamed the Eddy Phone, recorded voice letters on a wax cylinder, and its inventor thought a lot about it. However, when members of Edison's sales force saw his new machine, most of them doubted that the invention would prove to be a commercial success and expressed little interest in trying to sell it. Barnes in contrast, recognized that Edison's new machine could help thousands of executives across the country by allowing them to dictate at any time, day or night, for later playback. Barnes also recognized that the dictation machine may assist company executives in saving time, doing more, and increase revenues. After working on a marketing plan, Barnes approached Edison and urged him to let him sell his dictation machine. Edison was impressed by Barnes' desire to sell the new machine and the thoroughness of the preparations to do. So he immediately agreed to his offer. And within months, Barnes had sold thousands of Edison's dictating machines. He also gained a lucrative contract to market and distributed the recording device across America. Barnes was so successful in selling Edison's dictating machine, he became a millionaire at a relatively young age. But more importantly, Barnes became a man who helped thousands of people across the country benefit from Edison's device. Edwin Barnes dressed not only to look successful, but to feel successful. There were many factors that Edwin Barnes from a young man with little money and no education would become one of the most capable and efficient salesperson Thomas Edison had ever known. Barnes' amazing success can be credited into the 10 fundamental habits that he continuously used. He knew what he wanted to achieve. He used the power of imagination to overcome poverty and other difficulties. He was ready to start from the bottom to gain experience and knowledge. He created and took advantage of opportunities. He maintained determination to make his goals come true. 
He worked long hours, with concentrated attention for many years, to get what he wanted. He spoke relatively little, and produced big achievements. He was not discouraged, by criticism, failure, or obstacles. He created ideas, and made them come true. In line with his goals, he helped other people become more successful. Thanks for watching. For more such videos, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.